In this video, we'll talk about how you can play notes, how to adjust the scale, and how to play chords on the APC64. So starting with note mode here, we actually have a few different options, which can be adjusted in two ways. We can hold shift and press note mode, which will give us the configuration menu for note mode. But we can also take a look at the screen down here, which will help us navigate around the same functions. So first of all, we can change the root note. Let's stay on C for now. We can do that with the encoder and the screen, or we can do that with the touch pads here. You'll notice this top row of LEDs kind of reflects a piano keyboard where this is C, this is C sharp, this is D, etc. We're also able to adjust the scale. Currently, we're set to a major scale. If I click the encoder, I can scroll through the different types of scales available to us. We can even have it in a chromatic mode. And from there, it's a lot of scales that you'd expect to see. All of the modes, major pentatonic, minor pentatonic, blues scale, whole tone scale, and other popular scales from around the world. We'll stay in major for now. Again, I'm navigating with the encoder here. You're seeing this collection of blue pads change. We can, of course, navigate to a different scale in this way as well. And you're also seeing the collection of notes change because a scale is a unique collection of notes. So as we choose a scale, the collection of notes, of course, changes as well. The next functionality we can change down here is the row start. Now, this is how, in note mode, how these notes are arranged. You'll notice these blue notes here are each root notes, while the white notes are other notes of the scale. Holding shift and going back into that configuration menu. I'm actually going to change this. Here mine is set to fifths. I'm going to scroll here and set it to fourths mode. I like this mode because to form a triad chord, root third and fifth, we make a triangle with our hands. And I think that that's pretty ergonomic. I also think it's pretty intuitive to play scales up the instrument and across the instrument. Shift configuration again. We can choose to hide out of scale notes or show them. So now note mode will look like this if we show the out of scale notes, meaning we have access to the full chromatic scale. But still illuminating only the pads of notes that are in the current key that we're in. And we can choose whether or not we're going to send polyphonic aftertouch. Now, what does that mean? Well, let's go ahead and navigate over to this wavetable instrument. Doesn't sound like much when I just play a single note. However, if I press a note and hold it and apply more pressure, we will hear that sound change over time. Polyphonic aftertouch means as I apply pressure to the pad, Ableton Live can read that information and we can adjust certain things or make different things happen with that pressure. The polyphonic aspect of it is of course the fact that I can hold this note here at the bottom, play this note on top, apply pressure to only the top note as opposed to the bottom note. Each note has its own individual pressure or aftertouch parameter. And if you take a look at this synth, you can see that the pressure is opening up the filter. Going back to our electric keyboard instrument, let's take a look at chords mode. Now, earlier to access the configuration menu, we were hitting shift and config on the chord mode or the note mode button to access that menu. I wanted to also show you a quicker way, which we can just press and hold the button to access that config menu. So let's scroll through our options again, and the specific options for chord mode will be what collection of notes are we playing? The first one available to us is 135, a basic triad. We can scroll through and play a 125, 145, 1357 for a seven chord, and there's other options in there as well. So now that we're able to play seventh chords, we can play full chords with a single press of a note.
While we're in either note or chords mode, we can use the up and down arrows on the bottom left to change octaves. That's how we play notes and chords and adjust our scales on the APC 64.